डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन यूर अर्लियर यूनिट्स एंड मॉडल्स यू हैव स्टडीड फ्रेजेस यू स्टडीड नाउन फ्रेज प्रिपोजिशनल फ्रेज एंड आई होप दैट यू हैव रेड the notes that i have sent on your google classroom about adjective phrase adverb phrase genitive phrase and today we will talk about verb phrase and as i have told you that we study phrase by focusing on its function and its structure or form so all these phrases you have studied these all phrases you have studied focusing on function its function and forms now let's try to understand function of verb phrase and you will see that verb phrase always function as predicate in a clause so it is always predicator in a clause and you have studied that unlike other phrases verb phrase has no other function so np noun phrase functions as subject object complement and even adverbial also prepositional phrase functions as adverbial adjective phrase functions as complement and you will see that these all other phrases never function as predicate it is only verb phrase that function as predicator so this this we can easily understand this by examples see for example let's take a clause we have been studying english for at least four years now you see that in this sentence or say in a clause this we forms noun phrase this english forms again noun phrase here it functions as object and here it functions as subject and this for last last four years is prepositional phrase it begins with preposition and it functions as adverbial it shows adverbial of time or period okay now 
this group of words is verb phrase because you see here study is verb which is used in this clause or sentence so let's take another example for example rahul works here now this is a verb phrase and there is a single word in it in earlier example in the first example there were three words now what is this what is this and how they are different from this we are going to see but right now you will see that this single word phrase is verb phrase work is here verb and it functions as predicate so this is very easy to understand now let's talk about the structure of verb phrase and you will see that the structure of verb phrase is different from other structures of other phrases now you will see that in a verb phrase there is a main verb as in for example rahul works here this is called main verb and beside it as in in the second example you see that we have been studying in this example this is main verb and this all form as auxiliaries so this is auxiliary and this is auxiliary also so if we want to identify the structure of the verb phrase you will see that verb waves must contain a main verb and beside it there are auxiliaries you see here that so this forms the structure of verb phrase now you already know that when we put the element of a phrase in curved bracket it means that it is optional it is not obligatory so in a verb phrase auxiliary may come or may not come for example look at in this verb phrase there is no auxiliary so therefore these auxiliary elements are put into curve bracket on the contrary this main verb is must it is obligatory it should be there in a verb phrase do understand so these auxiliaries are needed to be studied more clearly now how many auxiliaries can be there in a verb phrase they can be 
जीरो टू फोर इन ए वर्क प्लेस देर कैन बी फोर ऑक्जिलरीज मैक्सिमम फोर एक्जिलरीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द गर्ल्स माइट हैव बीन being appointed in the company now you see that this clause or sentence contains four auxiliaries 1 2 3 4 and this is main verb do understand so here you see that these auxiliaries are maximum four in number now let's talk more about the verbs let's talk about verb forms now you know that verb forms have verbs have different forms and we get confused always about because we don't understand verb forms clearly see for example when you see a verb like this for example agree you see that agree is sometimes used just as agree sometimes you see agrees sometimes you see agreeing sometimes you see agreed so you see different forms of this verb used in sentences or clauses now you also see that sometimes a verb comes with ed suffix but sometimes there is no suffix for example this cut cuts and cut and cutting so we also see that there is no difference between the spellings of this verb form sometimes we also did see that there is yum there is e there is r sometimes you see does sometimes you see have had have been etc so all these different forms of verbs that they function what they function and how they should be used and how they should be identified and analyzed that we are going to see in this section now for that reason we are going to divide verb forms in different groups so that it becomes easy for us now these verbs have total 
six different forms and for understand to understand these we will divide verbs into two groups the first is full verbs and secondly is operator verbs again we will divide these full verbs into two categories one is regular full verbs and other is irregular full verbs we will divide these operator verbs again into two major categories that is primary operator verbs and model operators verbs now you know that regular verbs such as for example talk and example of irregular verbs like put while primary verb operator verbs are again three see for example do have and be while model verbs are can could etc you have studied model auxiliary verbs or model operator verbs in your earlier classes now we are just going to classify and understand them perfectly now you see that these all regular full verbs irregular full verbs primary operator verbs model operator verbs have six forms now let's understand which are these six forms see for example what are those six forms Two, three, four, five, six. The first form is, for example, C. V O. Second is V S. Third is V E D. Fourth is V R. Five is V I N G, and third is V E N. Now let's say, for example, talk, talks, talked, to talk. talking and talked now you may see that this talked and this talked are same though they have same spelling they are used differently this is used in past simple past tense this is used in perfect tense you understand now let's see these things with example see when you say that they talk nonsense this is vo when you say that 
heat talks this is vs when you say that he is talking this is ving when you say he talked here you see ved when you use this talk verb as to talk is to waste time this is a clause in this clause you see here vi one more they have talked <coughs> sorry talked here you see fee en so 1 2 3 4 5 6 here you see that this is a regular verb now one more type of regular verb is that for example <clears throat> see get gets got to get getting and got here you see that even this verb get has six forms and they are used differently in different clauses with different forms now let's talk about irregular verbs now irregular verbs are those we generally do not get attached with ed now you know this <clears throat> kind of verbs like cut or put even these irregular full verbs have six forms just as cut cuts cut to cut cutting and cut and even we can identify or we can make six sentence out of them like they cut he cuts she is cutting he cut cutting to cut is to repair in this cut is vi in form and they had cut now if you concentrate only on this aspect you will see that this is ven the ven form of this verb cut is used here because it is a perfect tense perfect past 
tense more specifically. Now, we will also talk about primary and model operator verbs. When we talk about model operator verbs or primary operators verb, we have three specific primary operating verbs and they are do, have and be. Now, let's talk about their VS form, VO form, VED form, VI form, VEN and VING. For example, does, do, did, do, done and doing. Have which has in analysis this short form is used. For example, has, have, had, have, had, and having same way is m r was where b been and being. Now you see that these primary operator verbs come in clauses and sentences in these three different, six different forms. For example, you see here that, let's say, take for example, the form of the B is now he is playing or i am playing or b the ving form b player be a good player or you have seen that in this clause I have been playing in this phrase this pin is form of ven form of b so we will see while analyzing this all verb phrase we will see the different forms of these operator verbs and we will talk about this do as dummy operator in later our video thank you